Hi, I'm Ranger Daniel with Texas Parks and Wildlife. Today we're at the beautiful Ray Roberts Lake State Park. We're actually going to be hiking off trail today to go out to our wetlands. I don't know what you're thinking. Ranger Dan, if we're going out to the wetlands, does that mean we're going to learn about the North American beaver? And oh, you bet your two front teeth we are. So why are these little lumberjacks so important to this ecosystem? Well, they're what we call a keystone species, meaning that if they were to disappear, this wetlands may disappear as well. And that's because they're the ones that actually built it. And every night, they come out to maintain it. They started in collecting like limbs and mud and rocks, and they built a dam along the waterway here. Well, upstream from that waterway, the water started pulling and expanding. And then it actually gave a new place for wildlife such as dragonflies and frogs, snakes, turtles, and even the river otter a place to live and eat and even grow their populations. The beaver is actually North America's largest rodent, weighing upwards of 70 pounds. And because they're semi-aquatic, meaning that they live on land and water, they have to have physical features that allow for both. That's why they have those large webbed back feet, as well as the, the flat paddle-like tail. And they even have what's called a nictitating membrane that covers their eye. This allows them to see while underwater, while still protecting their eyeball. They also have thick fur coats that are actually double coated, meaning that they have a, a small, short, fine hair underneath and a long, tall, coarse hair on top. And this hair is actually covered in castrum oil. And this allows the, the whole coat to be waterproof. So when they, when they come out of the water, they can actually shed that water off very quickly. Here's actually a good sign that these beavers are close by. This is actually caused by those famous large yellow teeth. Now, the reason these teeth are actually yellow is because the front of it contains more iron than the back of it. This means that the front of it stays harder while the back of it wears down while chewing on trees. With the back side wearing down quicker than the front side, it keeps the teeth in a chisel shape, which makes it easier for them to chew on wood. And I know what you're thinking, well, they must go through their teeth really quickly. That is true, but they actually keep those same two front teeth their entire lives. It's just that those teeth will continuously grow their entire life. The North American beaver is actually very family oriented. The offspring will actually stay with the parents and each year they'll help raise the new offspring and they'll stay there for about two to three years before moving off on their own. The youngest offspring go through a sort of apprenticeship where they'll follow the olders around to learn how to collect limbs, uh, where to eat, how to build dams. It's... And although they are family oriented, they don't like when other beavers come around or even other wildlife. The males will build what's called a scent mound out of sticks and mud. And they'll use their castrum oil to scent these mounds. And it's kind of like telling the other beavers, this area is taken, go away. As many of you may know, beavers are nocturnal. So where do they go during the day? Well, here in Texas, they actually burrow into the sides of the waterway streams. And this is where they sleep. This is also where they can collect food at night and take it back down there to eat in the safety of their own home. Here we are at the main part of the wetland. This area was once nothing more than a small stream on the far side over there, but thanks to the hard work and dedication of nature's architect, this area is now full of ecological diversification. Not only the animals that live in it, like fish and waterfowl, but the animals that live around it, like possum and raccoons.
So here we are on the front side of the wetland. We're actually standing on the dam wall. On this side, you don't have a lot of water, but on this side, you have plenty of water. And every night, the beavers will survey this water's edge, looking for any low spots that need to be repaired, so this wetland ecosystem will stay full of this life-giving water. So why do beavers build these dams? Well, in the water, they're fast and agile, but on land, they're slow and clumsy, and this makes them susceptible to predators like bobcats and coyotes. And when the water builds up behind these dams, it expands and it allows them to get closer to their food source while still having the safety of the water next to them. Well, I hope you learned as much as I did today. So the next time you see a North American beaver, make sure to tell them thanks for all their hard work, but make sure to keep your distance. I'm Ranger Daniel, have a nice day.